the, uh, the material part of the label and get it looking like a real Maker's Mark bottle. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and open up my material and the material editor. Under color, I'm going to go to texture, load image, select my Maker's label that I've created previously. And you can see already that it's applying it to that label, to that set, set of selections. Um, the next thing I need to do in order to, well, actually first I'm going to go go through and position this correctly. So it's it's not showing up the way we'd like. If I look around on my bottle, I don't see the material showing up anywhere. So this might be really confusing. Uh, I don't really understand why my uh, label is not showing up the way I've designed it. So uh, let's look at that. How do we do that? So you notice in your texture tag under projection, you've got these settings. Uh, so you've got UV mapping. So UVW mapping is is actually something we can get into much later, but it it uses the the model itself, the the coordinate system of the model, and it sort of unwraps um, the polygons in a way that allows you pro to project an image onto that. And that's probably very confusing right now, so I don't want you to worry about that. First, I, what we're going to do is use the basic ones that are available above UV mapping. So, spherical, let's try that. So, if I look at a spherical projection, I've got my bottle selected, I've got my tags selected. Right now, you can start to see some of the image at the bottom. If I do a quick render, you can see the, the label is a, being applied. If I rotate my bottle around, you can start to see some of the maker's mark logo uh, being applied to the other side. I'm turn this floor off. So you can see that it's being applied. It's not, not what we want at all, but at least we can see part of the label now. Uh, so let's go back to this. So we're looking at left side, front side. Well. It, the way these projections are done is is uh, is through actually like if you think about a projector projecting in space, well, what if this was a sphere sphere shaped projector, right? So that it's projecting it from all sides and wrapping this image all the way around, then projecting it onto the model. That's exactly what's happening. So let's select our image, our model, and use this use texture axis mode. And you can see that sphere. So the image is being wrapped around this sphere. If I move it up, you can see that the image is moving with it. Uh, so it's the image is wrapped around the sphere and then being projected onto the model, and then specifically onto the selections that we've made on our model. So I could start with this. I could try rotating this in space, doing all these things. You can see how it's sort of distorting it and wrapping it around the bottle. And you get this strange distortion where it's wrapping it around here, sort of like a, the globe on a, on a map, or the world map on a globe. Uh, so I don't think spherical is going to work. Well, let's go back in here and try something else. How about cylindrical? Mm. That's looking a little more like what I might want. So cylindrical is actually sort of like if you imagine unwrapping a toilet paper tube or a paper towel tube and flattening that out, uh, if you, so and then you drew something on that and wrapped it back up. That's sort of what's happening here, uh, and that's really what we want. Uh, but I'm going to need to make some changes and adjustments to this. So in the texture tag, tag you can make adjustments in the U and the V. V is vertical, U is horizontal. So maybe I want to stretch this up a little taller. Maybe I want to move it up a little bit, so I can do all of that using these tools. And on the V, I don't want it to be wrapping around 100%. That means it's going all the way around the bottle. Uh, I only want it to go part of the way around the bottle. And you can see the yellow, the representation of that uh, in the in the yellow of this this uh, texture tag. So you can visually rotate this around and imagine what it's doing, right? So if negative z is what we're looking at, and we want the label to be in the middle, then we need to rotate this around until it is in the middle, right? So we've got this 
projection system happening. You can also rotate it by using the this offset. That's probably what I should have done. So I'm going to rotate this offset around until the makers is in the center where we want it. Now it still feels to me like it's being stretched um, out a little bit, so uh, I'm going to make this a little taller. So I'm going to go ahead and in the vertical and just do this a little bit more until it feels right to me. We'll move it up. So that, that feels pretty good to me. And uh, now what we want it to do is apply that cut edge. Oh, what's going on here? Hmm. Well, this is tiling. So all we have to do really to cor correct this repetition of the Maker's Mark logo is to turn off tiling. So now we've got the label wrapping around this way and this way. It seems like it's on the right side more than the left, so I think I'm going to just nudge this over a little more. And then make it, maybe make it a little longer to get it back to the center. So it takes a little bit of finessing, a little playing around with it to get it to do exactly what you want it to do. So right now we've got it you know, looking pretty good. The label's wrapped around the bottle. Uh, and Maker's Mark is the logo's appearing clearly. The type, it looks pretty good on the sides. But we don't have that cut edge. Oops. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click off of the texture now. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way the texture is positioned. So I'm going to go back to my modeling tool here. Now I would, what I want to do is create that uh, cut edge. So I'm going to go back into my material. I'm going to turn on alpha. And I'm simply going to load that same image. Now right now what's happening is it's applying the image as an alpha. So anything dark is transparent, completely transparent. Uh, and anything a little lighter is a little bit more opaque. So if I render here, you can see the Maker's Mark logo is actually transparent. You can see through it. And you can see the, the liquid under, underneath it. The whole bottle of label actually is a little bit transparent. Um, so if we click in here and go into layer set, now I can choose just the alpha. And so only the uh, that part of the image is going to be used to create the alpha. Now you can see a little bit more clearly what's happening there. So our label is cut. It's being projected on. And you can see it's actually made the faces transparent that we've had selected. And only the label is showing up on those faces only. Uh, I hope that's making sense. But what you're seeing is, just render really quickly, it's almost as if this label is floating in space. So what we need to do now is simply put our glass texture back on. So I'm going to drag this glass texture back onto our bottle. But I want it to appear up here before we can put it in the front over here. I want it to be on first with this label on top. And now what it's doing is applying the glass texture and then applying the label. So when we render, we get the glass with the label applied to the second set, to that second surface. So there we've got our Maker's Mark label applied, and it's rendering pretty well. So make sure you watch some of the other videos that talk about um, uh, the front and back of labels and things like that, so it'll help you uh, understand more about how to um, make sure anti-aliasing is turning on best, otherwise we get strange bit mapping. Looking much better now. So that's looking pretty good. Make sure you check out other videos about how to uh, uh, look at double-sided polys and things like that. Um, we really only want this to project on the front side of our polygons and not the back side.
Okay.